Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you're learning to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 71, NASDAQ is up 13, S&P is up five. That being said, folks, guess what? This market gave up so many points today, it's amazing. We're gonna be getting the red by the time this show is over. The S&P has just given up 62 points. And the NASDAQ has given up 285 points, okay? Bottom line, I suspect we're going to, well, it looks to me, looks, well, there we go. We just went red, okay? This is, this is a really weak market. Uh, and what we may have here is a very large ABC structure down. Let's get into the rest of it. Gold, gold, excuse me, folks. Gold contract down $2.30, trading at 1840 an ounce. We got silver up 37 cents. $24.60 an ounce, light sweet crude, flat, $86.90 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, up one tick, 127.23. The 30-year down one at 154.17 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 223 ticks, trading 95.733. The Euro's at 113, the Yen's at 114, and the British Pound is at 136 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This is pretty intense, folks. Uh, bottom line is that we've had the selling happen. Uh, what you did with the SPY today, you got all the way up to 456, and we're at 451. The low of yesterday was 451.46, and guess what? I suspect we're going to go under that level as we come into the close. We're only 50 cents away from it. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX 100. We take a look at the three Qs. Three Qs, they actually just went negative. Three Qs got as high today at 373. And the bottom line, you are at 366.41. The low of yesterday was 366.21. This is going to blow this away. Well, it blew it away by a penny. This is, 350 is, looks to me like we, we got game. That, that's how this is shaking out, man. And if it is an ABC down, so let's check this out, how this would work. So you got... A is 390 to 366. So we're talking about 34 points, which we, yeah, 34 points is gonna, gonna basically uh, get you, so uh, that's actually three, four, that's actually 340. So, so picture this, this is gonna get cool watching how this shakes out. If in fact we get that ABC down, 350 is the price projection from the high volume low October 4th, right? That being said, if this is gonna be an ABC down, that means it's gonna blow that away. And if that's what we get, let me look at this for a second. So 350, is that 350 right there? Yeah, that's 350 there. So bottom line, you break 350, man, you're going to, uh, 338 is the next stop after that. And I don't even want to think about the amount of high volume lows that are out in this marketplace. And so let's just look at this just in an aspect on a Fibonacci expansion contraction. If, in fact, we're in the middle of a nice correction. So picture how this works, folks. This is a pretty amazing, actually. If... If we do just a 0 0.382 correction from the lows of the pandemic low in March, that brings you down to 315. That's a 0 0.382 correction. That's a normal correction, by the way, okay? So we'll see where this is go the whole thing's gonna shake out. What we certainly have right now, and you can see it quite clearly, is that we have highs. So look at this, man. So the first high that was generated in the queues was had volume of 230 million. Now watch what happens here. That, so that's the high. Then we come off that high down with 403. So we make a high with 230, you come down with 403. 
Three weeks later, we tested that, and we tested that with 156 versus 230. And then what ends up happening again? Bottom line, you come off of that with 313 million and 372, and we're going to have at least another probably 300 million this week. This is a, this is a market that wants lower price, man, in a big way. Gold, gold contract out here, you know, had a nice day out here yesterday. Bottom line is that you get a flat market in gold out here today. Uh, what you have is that we're at 1840. This, this baby's on its way up to that 1881. Silver is already making the move. If you take a look at the silver contract, what you have in the silver contract is that you're up 37 cents. Yesterday, we were up like a buck. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we are at 2460. Next stop up there is 2552. Let's go take a look at King Dollar, because what you do have with King Dollar, King Dollar came up to ice, gave it up, back up there again, and we'll see whether it can uh, basically uh, get inside the higher range. Right now, it's teetering right at ice. And what ice is, folks, is that that's where it's, it's a... When you take a look at a consolidation, when you break down or break up out of a consolidation, that's ice. That's a, it's a Wyckoff term. And the way that he actually came up with it, which is pretty cool, is that he um, had a, a stream outside his backyard. And what ice was is that he felt is that the you jump the creek. So you have a creek. You jump the creek. You break ice. Then you come back up and you test it. And then the market normally lets go at that particular point. So pretty wild. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. Now, these are in a large ABC structures on the way down. So this is going to get really intriguing, particularly get intriguing when the market doesn't hold price and you don't have bonds going higher. This is, this is how weak the bond market is also. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now. Uh, look at this. Unbelievable. The Dow's up 24. NASDAQ's down 11. S&P's are flat. We'll come right back.